she'll lose five, gain six, lose five, gain seven, lose five, gain 15, and then call it water weight. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, my name is Charlie. Please consider subbing before you exit this video. Now before I get into today's reaction, I just wanted to send a big thank you to Ellen Roberts and his wife over at Everyday every day damn fitness i don't know why i struggle saying that sometimes they brought awareness to my darker side of obesity video and then it followed up with obese to beast sending awareness as well and their support meant so much to me i watched uh obese to beast video earlier today when i got off of work my phone was blowing up and i Kind of didn't understand why until I saw that he posted a video mentioning me and I appreciate their support. I also will be teaming up with Alan Roberts' wife in an amazing panel with other amazing, amazing women who include Michelle Daniels, who's over at My Thoughts May Offend You. This should be next Thursday, but I'll keep you guys posted, so keep your eye out on my community tab. And also this Thursday at 8 p.m., I will teaming, I'll be teaming up with Brianna Fitness. We'll be doing a live workout she's further in her journey i still have so much to learn and i'm open to it so we'll be doing a live workout so if anyone's available at that time come work out with us and i'm sure it'll be a good time and anyone who did come over from the awareness of that video thank you so much your kind words mean everything the positivity that i got on that video is something i didn't expect again my journey on this channel is everything i never expected so i just want to get right into the reaction hey guys so welcome to a new vlog i really wish i was wearing makeup today sometimes i have days where it's like i don't care and other days like today i do care but it's whatever so right now we're actually on our way we're gonna go pick up some of he's family we're gonna pick up her sister her nephew's wife and mm. her nephew which is the wife's son, giving you a little family tree lesson. No. So they're going to stay the night tonight, and we're going to swim in the pool. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to. Cool. I'm having, actually, this is why I wanted to really come on here and talk to you guys. I am having some, like, stomach issues, which is really weird because I'm not a stomach Again. issue type of gal, but I'm having, like, just some really sharp pains. You were just in the emergency room. I don't know if it's, like, how I slept because I'm also, like, in my back it kind of hurts, too. So I'm kind of just dealing with that today. It could just be gas. Like, hi, we're all human. But right now, Becky actually went in this little, like, corner store. She's going to pick something up for um, her sister's husband. And she's also going to get me a water because I'm thirsty. So we're going to stick to that high pH level water because I recently talked about that. And mm, it's actually going to help you with no. my heartburn. It's so freaking weird. That pH video has brought up so many concerns and like an uproar this is the problem of spewing misinformation online but i haven't truly looked into it so i can't truly comment but that ph uh, video has a lot of people annoyed i don't have any more heartburn which is crazy and i used to get heartburn every time i drank water so it's like literally now i know higher the ph level better for you like it's stop saying that so everyone just got done swimming and they're inside changing. I just sat out here on the concrete and I was getting bitten up and everything else. So I put spray on me, uh, bug spray. Now I have stained my clothes white. We are playing Girl, Mario you got 10 Party. of those leggings, you'll be fine. Hey guys, so I am here to tell you, it is the next day, obviously. My sleep has been crazy. I don't know if it's from the mood stabilizer I'm taking. Or all the naps But as you guys take? know, I don't take much naps in my life. And it's something I talk about all yes, the time. Yes, she does. It's, very, it's like a rarity. KDW, please, please make a compilation of all the naps that this girl takes. I don't know why she keeps saying she doesn't take naps. She's been taking naps since I've discovered her. KDW, I beg of you. I know you probably have a laundry list of things to do. But if anyone can do it, it's KDW. And lately, it's been really hard for me to fall asleep, which is something I've been dealing with my whole life. But now I take naps in the day, and they're like three hours long. I wake well, up. That's what, when I used to take naps, 
they used to be that long as well and what people don't know at least what i didn't know after i think like 45 minutes it's not considered a nap anymore you're actually sleeping so that could play a part in why she can't sleep at night because she's sleeping for so long during the day i believe the study i looked up it's anything over 30 to 45 minutes can hinder your sleep later on that night and it's not considered a nap anymore and i pretty much sleep for three hours after I wake up. And it's usually like a couple hours after I wake up. It's not something I'm liking at all. And that's what I did today. And I just feel like the whole day is just like gone. It's like completely gone. That's so most of Weight Watchers days. sent me a little envelope. I already opened Ooh, it. Like is this. that the cease and desist? Because like she needs to this stop. This is a moment to be proud. Yeah, I, know. I was on track. Opening it. So it looks like it's just a little it's the cease and desist. Oh, or not. that's cute. Oh my God, you've hit your five pound milestone. We're celebrating you and your amazing achievement from the Weight Watcher family. Well, it's actually not Weight Watchers anymore. It's called WW, which actually stands for Wellness Wins. Oh, they changed the name. This must have taken a long time to get here because I've been down those five pounds for a little bit of time now. And oh you're my right god, back it's like up. a little keychain! I'm literally crying. Like, look how freaking cute that is. Literally putting this in my journal. So there we go, I put it together. And that's cute and all, but if anyone from Weight Watchers is watching, I really hope you guys don't send out these keychains every time they lose five pounds, because you'll be sending out several. She'll lose five, gain six, lose five, gain seven, lose five, gain 15, and then call it water weight. Please. Please save the environment and don't keep sending these things out to her. The front is blue and then the back has the number five for five pounds and then WW. That is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's oh my cute. God. I wonder if they'll keep sending them to me, like 10 pounds. I hope not. Pounds. And I'll have a million of these little thingies once I lose hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I mean, I hope w. you do it, but... Okay, that was annoying. Hey guys, so I just woke up. I slept for 11 hours. I can 100% tell you that my mood stabilizer makes me sleep more mm. than I normally would. So I'm probably going to talk to my psychiatrist about that because that's not really good in my opinion. But I mean, I could have worse symptoms. I mean, I do have really vivid dreams, sometimes very bad nightmares. Actually, it's never a good dream. So what is I it? Guess portion it's control. A nightmare, but that's about out. the only symptoms I get from this. Sorry, the light is literally right there. So half of my face has light and the other half doesn't. So I wanted mm. to give you an update on this book. You guys, I, I'm not a bad book owner, I promise. I'm just using the cover as a bookmark currently, okay? So I'm on page mm -hmm. I don't like that. 193. I just got done with this page. This book is so good. If you guys didn't watch my last vlog, it's called The Program. You guys seriously need to read this because it is so freaking good. It's it's honestly a page turner. Like, you can't put it down. I literally can't put it down. I'm obsessed with this book, and I'm going to read right now. It is amazing. That's all I ever want to do is read. I do want to point out, that before I started taking my mood stabilizer, which I've been on it for almost six weeks, by the way, um, before I started taking it, I lost all interest in a lot of things I used to love doing. Like, hold on, let things. me turn the camera around. What I was saying was, it's like, I lost interest in so much that I used to love doing. You only did two and things. And I You ate noticed, your camera and made money from it. I think it was like a week ago. What else did you I was do? like, I'm reading again. You know, I'm, I'm going okay. out and doing things again. I Like what? It's funny. I was in the car with Becky. I started getting tears in my eyes, and I, I had a little sniffle sound, and she looked at me while she was driving, like, for a quick second, and she's like, what's wrong? I was like, these are happy tears because I'm noticing that this mood stabilizer is helping me. You know, I'm sticking to the 100 days of uploading, and I'm... A and another thing we kept... We can't forget, and I don't want to nitpick, but from what I understand, she hasn't worn a seatbelt in a really long time, and I don't believe she bought the seatbelt extender, which is really dangerous, unless I'm wrong, correct me, but for a long time, she was driving around without a seatbelt extender. 
not being fastened. You know what I'm saying? That's really dangerous. It's bad enough being the size that she is in a case of an emergency or an accident. That's really horrible and irresponsible. Mind you, this person makes anywhere between fifteen to $30,000 a month. I know there's a lot of conspiracy or theories behind her income. And yes, her income is none of my business, but this is someone who makes thousands of dollars a month and can't even purchase a seatbelt extender or put more effort into her weight loss and her health. People having a good time. My mood isn't bouncing up and down days upon end. I react to things differently than I used to. And honestly, like, it really is helping me. It makes me emotional because it's like, I can't believe that I finally was diagnosed with the right thing because for so long I was just diagnosed with, oh, you're depressed. And so I would constantly try different antidepressants and nothing ever worked for me. So it's like finally to be diagnosed with the right thing and to take the medicine for it and it's helping me just shows and proves so much within my life that the things that I've been going through was... I would never say this about anyone else without seeing it for myself, but being diagnosed can potentially be one of the best things for a lot of people. But for her, it seems like it's doing the complete opposite because she's now using that as a crutch. She mentions it in almost every video and she uses it as an excuse for poor behavior. As much as mental health is so important, being diagnosed for her has done the opposite effect. And I feel like will be a key reason and why she completely declines even further when it comes to her health. I may be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. But she just wears that with such a badge of honor that I have never seen. And I know people who are bipolar. I know people who have been diagnosed with mental issues. But she wears it with such a badge of honor that it's, it's, really, it's really bad. Because I was bipolar. And it's like, I felt like that was my normal. And now that I feel normal, because my mood is stabilized, I'm just like, wow. Wow. I thought they said normal. Her and Foodie, Bo Foodie Beauty Chantel were on this whole thing about using the word normal means it's ableist. How come they could use the word normal, but other people, when they slip up and use the word normal, not knowing it can be, you know, it can be a bad thing. How come they can use the word normal? So they run with this ableist, this ableist uh, argument when it benefits them, but they can turn around and do the same thing. You want a treat? Stay. I'm trying to teach her. I've been trying to teach her for years, let's be real. Stay. Baby, stay. Okay. You're I mean, so she doesn't do half bad. Y'all, this water, ice, ice, Icelandic? Icelandic? I, Icelandic? I don't know. <laughs> Glacial. It's a pH level of 8.4. I've actually never had it before, or at least I don't think so, so let's try it together. We're literally going to do a taste test of a freaking water. Like, I thought whatever. for a second that shirt said shrink. I was going to say no. All water tastes different to me. So. Not bad. Definitely tastes like it came from a glacier. <laughs> Just kidding. I love it when you call me senorita. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> what are you doing, babes? She doesn't mind her own. So do I, though. So, hello. New day. She's out I'm a horrible about. vlogger. I love that. I know. <laughs> you run it back to mama's. She could make a 20-minute video of just yep, walking and breathing, so and I would enjoy it. New just day. to know she's out. With my book. Do some reading. I have been wearing my hair like this like every day for the past like week, it feels like. So I know in this vlog, there's been like several days to this vlog. I just haven't had much to film and I don't want to do like filler content as some people call it. I really do love vlogging, but What's it's just the like, past year I don't know what channel? to say or what to show or what to talk about. I'm just like, 
what do I do? So we're going to do a little bit of an outfit of the day situation because I feel like she looks really cute. Okay, go. I can tell you Target, Walmart. That's from Walmart? Walmart. I normally really love Becky, but I'm really mad at her right now. And I've always known she was an enabler, but I'm just really pissed off because in one of Eric Cook's recent videos, because his videos are way more up to date, literally 24 to 74 hours behind. So that's very up to date compared to her hour and a half, two hour, you know, lag in videos. And, oh, hold on. I need to remember to put this on Do Not Disturb. And it came up in the background that people caught her, Becky, bringing in a box of pizza. Eric and his husband were cooking, so therefore it wasn't for them. So who do you think that box of pizza was for? It was for either Amberlynn alone or Amberlynn and Becky. Either way, that's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. In this vlog, she's complaining about stomach pain. Who knows what it could be from? It could be cramps. It could be so many different things. But to be living with someone who's about 600 pounds, who is com a complete joke online, and for you to be bringing in a box of pizza and it had to be caught in the background of your roommate's video. So that really, that annoyed me so much to see Becky do that. And I get it. Amber's the breadwinner. She probably has a lot of control over her, but either get out or consciously know you're helping her kill herself. Okay, I know your shorts are, but your shirt does not look Walmart-y. Walmart. Wow. And then I got the socks from you. I don't know where you got them. And then my sandals, of course, I got them from Shoe Show. I just feel like you look so cute. Like, the Nike with the, um... <laughs> super girly socks is actually perfect like when i saw you wear that i was like yes the only thing i'm confused about and i think it's because you picked it out i don't know where that hat is from the hat i don't know if did i get that for you it's mario in it oh yeah. it was the side chick again she just like had an epiphany what happened she she literally was like it's mario isn't it i was like yeah and then she goes Oh, hang on. So it looks like it's something in the car that made her have an epiphany randomly. So I'm excited to see what it is. The Look. suspense. <laughs> what is it? Look, it's from Doug. She says, <laughs> I thought he was from Doug. <laughs> Rocco's Modern Life. I actually oh, yeah, like okay. that hat. So you randomly remembered that you got a new hat and you left it in the car? Yeah, I got it at Walmart too. Walmart's got some good stuff lately. Yeah, you've been, um... Doing a little shopping business. Mm, you better run it past oh, your sodium mama. You can't just be out here spending your allowance willy nilly, girl. You look so cute. You think so? I think so. Oh, Becky. Uh, you piss me off. So, I think you're so sweet. It's kind of windy, so I hope you guys can hear me. But I'm actually standing underneath the tree that had those little things that looked like blackberries. Turns out they were not blackberries, but they don't have any more on the tree. I was going to show you guys, but. This is it. I thought she was going to say I was going to eat it. where it came from. <laughs> it's so peaceful. Just standing right underneath a tree. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> it looks like a ghost. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> so we got this yummy candle going. A flamingo beach. We're playing Uno. And this round is taking forever. Yeah, because I'm not back now. Oh, so I won the first round. Becky won the second round. Yes, I did. How do you feel? I feel like, like a, a winner. winner. Oh, a shoot. Champion? That's funny. We are the champion of the world. <laughs> mm. If you guys are ever cold, That's a <laughs> Becky's laughing at me. Oh, I blew it. I blew out too. That's sad because you were simply <laughs> breathing. Like, if you guys are ever cold, just go like this. I'm scared of fire so bad. <gasps> Babe! Okay. She has way too much hair to be Ooh, leaning over nice fire. It's a cold day. Gotta get warm around the campfire. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. That was so satisfying. Blow out candles? <laughs> you blew the candle. <laughs> get to work. Sorry. So you guys, I... 
That is actually a great example of the relationship. Becky does something, Amberlynn ruins something, and she expects Becky to fix it on demand. I think it's about that was that really time. symbolic. I just, vlog. It's late at night. It was storming earlier. A stretch, like, yes. Crazy. But symbolic. For some reason, it loves to storm in Kentucky. So that's a thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I guess the video, the truth about how I'm feeling, had to do with her being able to do more and feeling a lot more hopeful on the medication. I'm, I'm not sure what the title really had to do with the video, but that's kind of on brand for her. It wasn't necessarily clickbait though, so I have to definitely commend her for that. It wasn't necessarily clickbait, it was just more filler content, as she's saying it's not filler content. But thank you for tuning into today's video. Until next time, guys. Later.